So this was probably a mistake on my part. Uh, part of it was being lazy at the end of last season. Uh, the other part was with the two mowers, uh, I didn't want to clog up all the space in my garage with them. So I decided to leave them on the trailer. As I pull everything out and I'm getting it out of the trailer, I start noticing the floor. The floor is a little bowed and uh, there's a gap in these screws. Uh, you can see this gap right through here uh, where, the, where the floor is lifting up and then I don't know if you can really tell that there's that little sunken end spot but uh, I'll try to get it here. The other problem I'm having with these is the screws will start to back out of the trailer of the floor. Um, I have tried to you know tighten them up and tighten them up. I've tried to put Loctite in there. Uh, they seem to just keep coming back out and working their way back out, which I know there's a lot of movement, bouncing, taking the trailer everywhere. Uh, it's gonna happen over time. You guys have a way that y'all are keeping those in there. Just some way that uh, I could get it better and make the floor actually stay on there. I know there's really no way to fix the uh, bow in the floor without changing it out, putting a new piece of wood in there. Uh, I understand that that's probably just messed up now. Uh, I do want to know if that's a normal thing or if it's just because I neglected to take it out and I was lazy. So whatever ideas that you guys have that could help me out with this floor and to figure out a way to keep it down uh, and keep those screws in, I, I would much appreciate it. Uh, it's just something I've been dealing with for a year now and it's just something I would like to get fixed. I think when I do get a new trailer, I'm going to go with a more expensive one that's got a better floor, that's better built. Uh, than one of these low end enclosed trailers. I mean, it's great, it, it's cheap, it costs like 3,000 bucks, but it, you know, for 2,000 more, if it makes the trailer last several years longer, if it holds the equipment better, if it holds up better, I don't have to work on it as much. To me, that's worth that extra money to not have to do this kind of stuff and deal with these problems. If you enjoy my content, Make sure you hit this little circle right here and that'll subscribe you to the channel. You can also check out some of these other videos over here that I've done in the past. Uh, also, I'm very active on other social medias like Instagram and Facebook and you can find the links to those in the description.